Aquarius, Aquarius Rising, and of course all of you Aquarius Moon people out there. This is your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the week starting February 10th, 2020. And just a quick reminder for everybody out there, should you ever wish to get a session with me, you do need to go on ahead to my website, it's integrativemysticism.com, or of course you may also just simply follow the links below. So, what is going on when it comes to your astrology over the course of this coming week? Well, on Monday, we have Venus, planet of love, harmony, affection, the finer things in life, popularity, and attraction in your third house of communications, pacts, promises, commitments, as well as your peer group. And Venus is in a tight conjunction with Chiron, also in this area. Now, Chiron is the asteroid that I refer to as sort of our baggage. We all have it somewhere. Chiron, some people more affectionately term it the wounded healer. But in essence, it pulls attention to the dark cloud holding, hanging over a house or an area of our chart, possibly some scars or maybe just some emotional and spiritual contusions that need a looking over. With Venus conjunct Chiron, there is going to be a chance to dissipate those clouds and to clear up those contusions and scars, however, because this is giving you a chance to heal some kind of contract or pact or possibly even a social group or a peer group connection that may have been, you know, sent down the wrong road gotten off the rails or quite possibly simply had its own falling out. And this can be very good news, especially if we'd like to get something back on track, whether it's healing an existing relationship or something from our past, or quite possibly getting a commitment, a pact or promise, or even something that could be uh, game changing for your career, your vocation, your education back online. The nice thing about Venus is, is she offers a gift for this if you are interested in participating in such a conversation Monday overnight to Tuesday. It may be worth your while. On Thursday, Venus in the very same area is actually forming a T-square to the nodes of the moon. And the nodes of the moon are basically it's one of the only mathematic points that really talk about karma in astrology or spiritual lessons. So Venus from your third house is going to be square the north node in Cancer your sixth house of work, reputation, your schedule, and your service to others, and your south node, or the south node, excuse me, in Capricorn, your twelfth house of your past, your privacy, and your hidden zone. A breakthrough opportunity is coming your way, but it's going to ask you to actually go more public with things that maybe you have been keeping private, whether it's plans for your work, your vocation, your self, Sometimes we don't show our true selves to the entirety of the public, but sometimes we keep too much in that 12th house of the past privacy and hidden zone. The South Node itself is our crutch. It's what we do to cut corners, to take the easy way out, or to perhaps just keep ourselves, quote, safe, but it does not progress us in our growth at all. The sixth house, north node, our biggest challenges and our biggest rewards is where you want to go with this. Perhaps there's something that has to be shared with a group or a greater population. Maybe we want to be more inclusive of people with our plans, our agendas, become more social, quite possibly start to bring out ideas that we've been keeping on the back burner or hiding from other people, so to speak, just so we can, of course, maybe keep those plans to ourselves. Now with the sixth house, this could be relating to work or to your social life in general, or, you know, again, the general population around you, but it may be wise. Whatever gift Venus is giving you should be shared, and perhaps it requires us to be more forthcoming with truths about who we really are versus who we present to the general public. Now, before we move on, I do want to remind everyone, I'm aware there's a Mercury retrograde starting on the 16th of this week, but I did cover that in the monthly astrology horoscopes uh, for February, and if you're interested in checking that out, you can always go to my Patreon page, you can follow the links below and uh, sign up for that, and you'll have access to the monthlies as well as to um, the live chats that we do, the live talks, live lessons, as well as astrology classroom episodes, all kinds of good stuff, and it's only a dollar minimum pledge to have access to all of that stuff each month. 
So what's going on when it comes to your cards this week? Well, the spiritual themes, interestingly enough, surround the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And this week is going to be a week of a lot of discovery for a lot of you Aquarian people. But also, I think, admittance and a lot of acceptance of what you are discovering in the external and on the internal. The Queen of Pentacles reversed as a spiritual theme can indicate seeing things for as they are, not how we wish they would be. Because the Queen of Pentacles reverse pulls our attention to people and to circumstances or even things that we've taken on for ourselves that we or they are not cut out to do. There is a skill or maybe a piece of development missing here. There is a requisite that is not, you know, completed. And maybe people are doing the wrong things, or they're having a hard time, or they're not capable of succeeding in this area because of what is missing there. If a person is not very socially or emotionally fluent, then they may have a very difficult time in relationships, or in friendships, or finding relationships or friendships that actually work when they become natural and organic and go off script. For people who might be, you know, thinking about work, if people are getting skipped ahead, they're not getting proper training, or perhaps we've been shown only non-examples in certain areas of our life, that can be something we need to work with as well. The Queen of Pentacles reverses drawing attention to people in your life, as well as areas in your life, and even yourself, to where people are sort of put in the wrong place to do the wrong job. A lack of expertise, and yet at the same time, there they go doing it. How do we rearrange it to play to everyone's strengths? How do we have a successful utilization of everyone's expertise? As opposed to just simply playing to what we think they could do if they would just get on script. That's something a lot of people in the collective are kind of doing right now. They're realizing scripts don't work anymore, and to try and get people to capitulate to scripts is a hollow pyrrhic victory, to be perfectly honest, uh, because they always end up failing. And you may be noticing something like that going on in a family structure, in uh, a social structure, or even a professional structure. Call it like you see it. On the influx, we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Help is coming your way. With the Five of Pentacles in reverse, something is coming into your life to fill a void that you have not had filled for some time. In a lot of cases, this could be something social, this could be even something as a matter of material resources. In a lot of cases with the Five of Pentacles reversed, it is help to get you out of a circumstance that you've been stuck in. But the challenge with the Five of Pentacles reversed is sometimes we think that, uh, no, the, the problem is not where I am, whether it's the project, the job, the people, it's the fact that it's just not working right. No, it's not about fixing it. It's about helping to get to something better. Sometimes you can't always fix it. There's no point in trying to paint the walls of a burning building. Put out the fire first and see what you can do, but if it's already too far gone, start making plans to get a new house. With the Five of Pentacles in reverse, a lot of you Aquarian people are getting this assistance as grace, as support, as care, as love. Take it. Use it. Let go of any prideful attempt to say, no, this needs to go a certain way. Don't shut down guardians and guides, assistants, and the angels for trying to help you, okay? Now, the only reason I'm saying that is because of the Five of Pentacles reverse, that is a unique challenge, because sometimes what can happen is it can challenge not our ego, but our bruises. We might feel like we have to win it that way. We have to be able to successfully repaint the burning building. No, you don't. <laughs> With the outflux of the King of Pentacles in reverse, we see a shift in attitude going on. A preoccupation with status, I often say when I talk about this card, maybe a preoccupation with appearances or keeping up appearances, as we've seen with the astrology is going away. People are not able to do that so much anymore. You may be actually watching friends, family members, and members of your social life and your social groups start to crumble under the pressure to keep up appearances. The King of Pentacles reversed in and of itself is ultimately somebody who is a master of appearing successful. And in a lot of cases, they are very successful, maybe materialistically, maybe in shallow, superficial ways. 
but at the end of the day, it's a lot of work. The King of Pentacles reversed is an energy that is incredibly high maintenance. It takes a lot of work. In a lot of cases, you could see this as somebody who is almost like a miser of a certain type, not necessarily an Ebenezer Scrooge when it comes to money all by itself, but again, think about keeping up appearances. Maybe they identify too much with a job, a status, an ideology. Maybe they don't have a core sense of identity, so they don on like a chameleon, whatever they can. People like that are not going to do very well this week, and you might be noticing that certain people in your life need to take some breaks. When it comes to your mundane concerns, in the bottom row, we actually have the material concerns being lovely. We've got the Page of Cups up right. A lot of you Aquarius people are getting invitations to take on something new, whether it's a new job, a new position, or possibly to go in another direction as would be provided through your employer, through your field, or if your income is self-generated, maybe a service that you provide that gets a lot of positive reception. A lot of the times the Page of Cups upright, there may even be a gift financially coming to us, and possibly a matter of finance or a financial account that you have or source of revenue you have gets upgraded or has a chance to be upgraded this week, should you be willing to entertain that conversation. As we get to the external, friends, relatives, other people in your life, we have the Hierophant card, Reverse. Again, talk about deviating from scripts. Well, this week with the Hierophant card reversed, I am seeing that a social group or a family group or a cultural agreement or something like that is starting to dissolve around you this week. It's not actually holding up its weight very much anymore. Now, sometimes these things were never meant to last forever, or sometimes they're just not built to last. And with the Hierophant card reversed, you may be noticing these things dissolving but in a way that actually gives you a chance to have closer connections to everyone once they are maybe free from having to live according to a certain set of bylaws. Maybe this is very freeing for closer, more intimate connections with friends. Maybe this opens up the opportunity for more honest and fulfilling connections with family members. Whatever is happening here with the Hierophant card reverse, whatever sacred dogma gave the illusion of structure and support going away is going to do, um, it's a boon. At the end of the day, it's a boon. It just might be jarring for people. It's one of those situations where sometimes people don't know who they are without a part to play. But they better find out. They better damn well find out. <laughs> for the relationships, when romance and love, we've got the Five of Wands upright. And a lot of you... Aquarian people are going to be having your hands full. In fact, with the Five of Wands upright, a lot of you are going to be finding that uh, if you are available, multiple partner opportunities are coming your way all at once. And it doesn't look like there seems to be a rhyme or reason, all different types, all different um, you know, just backgrounds, and you're kind of getting a bit of a smorgasbord when it comes to new love and romance opportunities. And the Five of Wands, if you all, if you're an available Aquarius right now, please feel free. Because what the Five of Wands is asking is for you to maybe look a little bit, shop around, enjoy it. The Five of Wands, people want your attention. You may be finding something that you've sampled or maybe you're finding something new to sample that was not on the menu before. For those of you who are not available, the Five of Wands upright is indicating a partner and you are actually having um, maybe a lot of new options show up for the direction to take this relationship. But I am seeing with the Five of Wands upright, a partner is also having a bit of a, um, not necessarily a crisis, but let's just say they're, they're, they're going through a bit of a moment where they're not sure if they want to stay on a certain commitment or a certain path that they are on. They are feeling a conflict that is, of course, going to throw a conflict up for the relationship. If they want to change their professional trajectory or they're not happy with something else that's going on in their social life or their family life, at some point it's going to have a ripple effect. Entertain these thoughts and ideas, though, because your partner is also going through that Hierophant card reversed moment. This is actually a chance for freedom, real freedom. So that is your horoscope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You all know I appreciate it. And if you ever wish to get a session with me, you do need to go to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. <laughs>